Uh, hello, uh, I'm a suit and tie guy, and uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the uh, time modules, uh, soon to be shipping from uh, STG Sound Labs. They're a uh, network of sequencing modules, which are a little bit unusual in uh, modular synthesizers in that they are actually designed to work from an external transport because I believe transports are silly unless they're on things that are supposed to have them. Um, what you're hearing is a hi-hat pattern from a Roland TR-909 drum machine. The TR-909 is getting its din sync from this module over here called the time buffer. Now, this is a modified time buffer. It has two din sync outputs because I have a CR-8000 as well. Um, the time buffer is a distributor and buffer conditioner for uh, DIN clock, uh, which it's currently receiving from the Zoxbox, uh, which is a device I like quite a bit. All right, enough of that jibber jabber. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn one of these notes on. Let's... Oh, hey, it's a note. Right, so you're hearing one note. Uh, all the sequencers are running an eighth note uh, uh, divisions or increments. Uh, I have the the voltage output of uh, this middle unit here, the voltage mini store. It's uh, going through an attenuator and then into this um, dope for quantizer and then into these oscillators here. So, and then from the oscillators are going into this mixer and then into the Mankato filter um, and then and then into this VCA over here, which is kind of hard to see. Anyway, but it, as you can see, it is it is purple. So anyway, one note is going to bore us for a while. So let's add a second one. Okay. Now, so they're running like this. I have I have this voltage sequencer tuned so that uh, the knobs cover an octave. Uh, so this is will correspond to it. Okay. Okay, so now we got a couple notes going on. Okay. Now, this is all you're probably thinking, what's so impressive about this? There's really nothing impressive about it, right? Okay, well, the first thing we can do to change this up. Let's add another note. And let's uh, make that note like this one. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the length of this sequencer with this control right here. It's on the uh, shift manager, okay? And it's going to run, start running in seven notes instead of uh, eight. So now uh, we've got this uh, pattern, right? And now uh, let's uh, move these both into 16th notes, which we're going to do right now. Okay, now you're hearing uh, that the decay trail um, of the node is actually catching the next voltage in the sequence. So what we can do, what we can do is actually take a signal from, I use this, I use this gate delay here to actually feed uh, gate signals into both my envelope generators and it has a, it has a gate output on it. So we're gonna we're gonna take this, put it into this hole right here. Oh, okay. Now, okay. Now we're like shifting it like manually. Okay. But it's not gonna repeat. The pattern isn't going to repeat. So to make the pattern repeat consistently, bar uh, bar per bar, and take the stage one trigger output here for this sequencer 
and feed it into this stage one trigger input right here. Oh, oh, check that out. Okay, now we got a whole sequencer over here. It's not doing anything. It could be doing something if we want it. So um, let's do something with it. We're going to do something kind of pedestrian. You're going to be like, oh, well, that's real exciting. But it is musically useful. I'm going to take the voltage output, and I'm going to feed it into uh, the Mankato and make its uh, filter open up a little bit. Now, if you pardon me for a second, got to patch this. Choking a little bit there. Oh, okay, there. See, isn't that nice? Okay. Now I'm going to double up that gate signal. And I'm going to feed it into this one right here. And I'm going to set this pattern to three notes long, or three stages long, right? And I'm going to turn this. move it back into eighth notes just like that okay so now I check this out put it back into 16th notes with the uh, sequence, sequence, sequence length controls a little bit. Kind of an exciting little pattern going on. Uh, I could actually, quite frankly, I could just do this all day and not really get bored with it. But uh, I mean, maybe this is really boring to you, but I hope not. Um, just listen to that for a while. Play with it. And, uh, you know, if we want to do something back into eighth note mode, we could, uh, okay, 